What's going on with YouTube, man? This is your boy P. Wild, guys. We're back today with another video, man. And I am so excited to be back on the tube, man. I know I've been gone for a minute. And, uh, yeah, I ain't gonna even wait on that, y'all. I apologize. Thank you guys for joining me again. And let's go ahead and get into it, man. 2020 is gonna be a different year. I'm at least try to post three, three videos a week, you feel me? Something. Vlog, shoe, information, anything, y'all. So I won't leave you guys hanging. So thank y'all. But let's go ahead and get into um, what's going on in 2020 as far as sneaker stuff, man. Um, I've seen like a, cup, a couple of things that's been, you know, rumored to release or going to be confirmed to release and stuff. And uh, looking pretty ass if you ask me. I don't really, it's nothing. I mean, it just seems like we're getting the same thing, even with some in particular Jordan 1s. It's just kind of like the same, you know. So. Let's go ahead and look into some of this stuff right quick, guys, and let's see uh, exactly what we're looking at uh, coming 2020 sneaker release and stuff, as far as Yeezys, Jordans, etc. You know what I mean? And stuff that's not been confirmed yet, because you know Jordan brand or Yeezys and stuff like that usually tend to, uh, you know, throw some stuff at us, you know, later on throughout the year, and and it's not announced until later on. So let's go ahead and see what they got right now. All right, guys. So pretty much, let's go ahead and get started, man. What they got releasing? And uh, 2020, as far as stuff that they already got pretty much going on. So, as you can see, uh, started uh, early January. We're still early January, but so far you got these GS3s that drop. Ah, eh, trash. Then why not? Westbrook's trash. Uh, what's dropping this weekend, as you guys can see, will be uh, the Air Jordan 3 Reverse He Got Games. I mean, I know I, in one of my, my last videos I said this was trash. Uh, they not they not trash, but it's just it's not something that I personally am looking forward to. Now they fire. I'll, I'll rock these to ball in, or definitely if I did decide to go out to these, I'm waiting till they hit like 129 after they sit inside the mall and go on sale, and then. I think they be on sale probably like 149 Then I use like $120 coupons to get them for like 130 or something like that. You know what I mean? Or maybe hit up one of my people at Nike and use the coupon. They discount and get them for like uh, 125 or something like that. But as far as me going to spend $200 on these things, nah, 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 nah. So again, I'm going to tell you right now, these are going to sit. Do not pay extra for these. You do not have to run out, to, run out the house trying to get these and hitting up uh people on uh your your favorite youtuber hitting it who resell these and trying to get these early and stuff like that bro be patient you'll get these they'll sit you won't have to spend no 300 dollars 250 plus shipping for those shoes that's already just going to be sitting just be patient guys we in 2020 you do not have to oh let me get these early so i can flex be smart. You can still flex later on. Because at the end of the day, most of y'all be flexing for dudes. It's not that serious. It's only sneakers, bro. Wait. Be patient. These are the type of shoes you don't pay resale for. This shit will sit. Let's see what else we got going on, man, in uh, 2020. As far as uh, January release right now. Um, you got some other 13s. Some Chinese New Year 13s. Uh, these are scheduled to release on the 23rd. I think these will probably sell out because it's Chinese New Year's, but I don't think it'll go for a crazy uh, price or anything like that, like super crazy, anything like that. And in fact, actually, we can check, uh, let's check um, StockX, right? I mean, I know they all be like, uh, let's see what uh, money-wise everything is. So let's see StockX got going on, if they got these on uh, StockX for anything worth but I probably don't think so. I think these is ass as far as uh, money wise. Let's see. Ch Ch y and 13. Oh, here they go right here. 2020. So retail. Well, resale is well. It's still early. This is this don't release until the end of the month. So I guess it's like 258. Re retail is. What's retail on them originally? Uh, 258 resale wise. Eh, retail. Let's see what retail needs to us. 
got to be like 220. Oh, so 200. So right now, after tax, it'll probably be like, what, 215 after tax? So an extra like 30 some dollars. But again, this is early, man. So honestly, I would just wait. I think if you wait, Nike, Foot Locker, all in places that have this shoe, you can go ahead and grab this for retail, man. You ain't got to pay extra on it because it's not nothing I want to say that's super sought after. The colors is clean. It remind me of the um, of one of the, the first Yeezys that came out, you know. So those are clean, but I would just wait, man. That's something. Just don't don't go buy them. Paying early prices for those shoes. Those are going to wait. Those are going to sit, you feel me? Now, January 25th, uh, the Black Cat 4s. Everybody was like, oh, I want to get these because everybody's crying. Some people was crying that they were supposed to release last year or the year before last, and they didn't. So officially, they released... Uh, some of you guys, uh, favorite YouTubers got some early pairs now, or some maybe some stores got them early right now. Listen, guys, just like those, um, regardless, I understand these are iconic in a way, and people want these and this and that. In 2020, do not pay early prices on shoes that is GRs. If it's like a Travis Scott or maybe Jordan 1s or something like that, depending on what type of Jordan 1, not every Jordan 1, you know, I can understand you pay early for some of those because the prices may do this on those type of shoes. But you got to learn how to pick and choose what shoes to spend more money on or not to spend more money on. You get what I'm saying? Or get them early or don't get them early because most likely they'll sit. And last year was a prime example of shoes sitting and you don't have to pay extra for it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you the truth. These Black Cat 4s ain't selling out. So if you want them, do not pay three hundred or two hundred fifty dollars extra for these shoes early, when you can just wait a couple some a couple of more weeks, bro, and they're gonna be there sitting there waiting. Don't pay extra for these, man. These is it's not worth it. These shoes will be there, and let me see what it's it's not even Nike on the back of them. It's like the original form with the Jumpman on it. They clean, not two hundred dollars worth. You'll probably be able to get these things sitting like one fifty after a couple of weeks or a month or two, and they'll still be sitting there. So if you want these, be patient. These uh, Black Cat 4s, they ain't going nowhere. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see what else is dropping uh, in January. Or well, not January, uh, some more rest of this month or whatnot. Uh, you got some Air Jordan 1 Zoom RT2s. Yeah, we ain't. Eh, let's go ahead and take a look at those right quick. Let's see what they look like. Uh, I like the bottom. Uh, retail 175. <laughs> yeah, we going... If y'all like it, I love it, bro. I I like the bottom. Uh, is the leather on these pretty good? It kind of look like those uh, those Jordan ones. I forgot what it was called. It's like with that mesh on it, like weird ass top. Uh, I I can't get jiggy with this shit. They look this. They look decent in this picture right here. But if you if you want them, you can grab those. I ain't I ain't I ain't touching it, bro. Uh, I'm good now. This shoe has all types of names. So, right here it has uh, the Air Jordan 1 80, High 85 Varsity Red. Some people call them the Reverse uh, Bloods. But the as you can see, the top is, you know, like the original original 85 Jordan 1s with the higher cut, uh, you know, higher cut heels on them. So, um, now this shoe, I would probably say by it being what it's supposed to be releasing... Uh, maybe in February ish, so I think this was definitely going to sell out. And uh, I don't know about resale, man. And then Jordan Brand they pushing this price at 200. This ain't even a 160, this is at 200. dollars So you're paying 200 dollars for probably this small inches of uh, heel, or not heel, uh, you know, the back part of the Jordan, the height, highness of the Jordan. So each is on, man, you know what I mean. Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. If I get my hands on them, cool, I'll, I'll keep them. But I'm going to be honest with you. I, I sell sneakers. I'm a, If they got money, if it's worth money, I'm flipping the hell out of them. So I'll keep, I'm going to keep them 100. I'm not going to sit here and lie like other, you know, resellers or YouTubers, etc. Uh, these Air Jordan 9s, we ain't going to go look into that. They're going to sit. If you want them, wait. They're going to sit February 1st. They're sitting. These Air Jordan 1 women's UNC's, Chicago's. If you can pay for them early and it's a good price, get them. I'll be honest with you on these. Because uh, 
guys is gonna be fighting over shoe. Even though it's a woman's shoe, I, I gotta have mine. I gotta get that ten and a half or eleven in women's for my size nine, nine and a half. And uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, retail is one seventy. So Jordan brand actually went up ten dollars on on ones this year. These are gonna sell. The leather on these look nasty, boy. Look at that. The tote with the red on the front of the tote. Ooh wee. Man, them things is nasty. The leather on them look like some bread one leathers. Oh yeah, yeah. These, these, these selling out. Might be a couple of fights over these and lines and etc. So, however you can get these, go ahead and pay for. It. I can tell you right now, this this shoe is looking about. It's what retail one seventy. So I think for sure, probably between three hundred. About 300 350 uh reselling opening day and that's my opinion so for sure 300 i don't think less than 300 so yeah let, let them in so go ahead and again this is definitely a shoe that you buy and i would say you hold on to it and see what china talking about later on because what everybody don't want to tell you china influenced the market period that's why it goes up and down it ain't got nothing to do with america so if you can get these get them man it's gonna be worth money uh them jordan threes Pass them all star threes. Pass maybe Chicago they rock. Uh, you got them L Jordan ones, pine green, gym red. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at that right quick. Um, I think these are sell out because again, it's a Jordan one, but we just had the pine greens. But the only thing they changed, as you can see right here, the uh, emblem of the uh, Air Jordan is actually sorry, it's actually out of the shoe and it's not on the shoe like uh, how it usually is, like it's stamped in there. So, I mean, it's still like a pine green with the red on the tongue, but I think it's a sellout. The leather looks good. I hope it ain't like that fake tumble leather, but the leather actually looks really, really good on these. I guess since you're paying an extra $10, right? Is the price $10 extra? Yeah, so you're paying an extra now. Maybe they put a little bit more leather, better leather on it, but I think these are sellout. These will be worth some money. Uh, so if you guys get your hands on these, make sure you go ahead and get these because I think these are sellout. We worth some money, so go ahead and get those, man, for sure. Um, let's see what else we got coming out. Um, the new beginners pack, automatic, get them if you can. It's going to be worth money, period, if you can get them. The Air Jordan 5 SP, sit. Uh, them off-white 5s, it's an off-white. I ain't even going to go ahead and look at it. Well, I'm lying. Let's go ahead and check it out. I don't really care for all whites because it's in Vegas. I live in Vegas. It's kind of hard to get those shoes because... There's only literally like two places that get those type of shoes out here. Well, three now, I think. I think three now. But if you don't know, the raffle system out here as far as getting off-whites is atrocious. Uh, I don't even try. I'm going to be totally honest with you because I never hit. As many times as I tried, I never hit. And as far as looking at them wise and telling you guys, it's just the hype, bro. This shoe is ass. It's just the hype. It's because it's off-white. If this wasn't off-white, if this was a regular five, this shit will sit on itself, quacking its ass off. So don't believe the hype, bro. It's just because it's an off-white. Yeah, I say probably about five hundred dollars open a day because it's still a five. So uh, what's retail on it? Two twenty-five. So about five. I think it'd be about five hundred dollars, and then eventually it'd probably go up. But other than that, it's, it's that shit is ass. So if you love it, you like it. I love it. You feel me? It is what it is. March, my birthday month. Uh, what we got? We got some ass ass twos. We got the UNC threes. Now I don't think the UNC threes are sell out. Got the Nike. It don't have the Nike Air on the back. It has the regular Jumpman on there. I don't think it's sell out, but I think it's going to do pretty well. So I mean, I think they might have some pairs left over if you guys really really want them. And then it's around March Madness and stuff like that. So then again, I might change my mind. Might sell out. But then again, you, you never know when it comes to UNC, man. Especially on the three. If it was a one, it's gone. But on a three, it's kind of wishy-washy. I think if the Nike Air was on the back of it, it probably would have helped it a little bit more. And then you got these Air Jordan 4s, uh, Max 95 Neon. That's not an official color. That's not the official look of the shoe, so we don't know yet. Air Jordan 5, when those come out, those six. Now, I heard a lot about, oh, everybody talking about the Air Jordan uh, 6, uh, the sixes, right? Oh, I want these, I want these, I want these, I want these. They're going to sit. I wouldn't pay extra for them. Want me to tell you why I said they're going to sit? It's a fucking six. It doesn't matter what the hype was is a couple of years ago. This is 2020. It's either Jordan 1s, off-white, certain Yeezys, 
and collaboration is Travis Scott's and shit like that. Like, look at the Travis Scott sixes. When they came out, when, pre when people first wanted them, yeah, they wanted them, they wanted them, yeah, because they got shit. They want they got Travis Scott and you know shit on it, but even those are going for low right now because it's in, it's in six. Nobody really rocks sixes like that, and the only reason why that shoe has a little hype on it because it's Travis Scott attached to it. If it was a regular fucking six, that shit would be sitting like them jean sixes that's sitting right now. Let Travis Scott throw six his name on those jean sixes, or Levi throw it on them six. That shit would have sold out. And even the Levi fours, they they went down in value. So don't believe the hype. Don't let Unbreakable or anybody tell y'all that it's gonna be worth something. That shit is ass. It's, you want them? Just wait. They'll sit. Believe me, they are gonna sit. Uh, do you supposed to be uh, uh reverse court purples? I'm not gonna get all into that. Sell out instantly. Go ahead and get those if you can. I'll, I'll say about 300, about 250 to 300 resale on opening day. Depend on again how China is doing right now. Air Jordan six sit. Uh, the flints. Now that's that's the funny thing about those flints is that every everybody always been waiting on flints, 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 and it's just as you can see, like the track record for thirteens, man. Even if it's an original colorways, they ain't been selling out, bro. And as much as I love the flint thirteens, I feel the same way. I just don't think the hype is there no more. And you gotta think about. It. My age and uh, older, you know, we loved those type of shoes. And now the younger generation is more like what you influence on people on YouTube and shit like that. Like Kais and all them. And they like the rock what they like the rock. So I'm sorry to say I think these Flint 13s are going to sit. So I wouldn't pay extra for them. I don't think they're going to sell out. I think they're going to six. I said six. They're going to sit. So I wouldn't buy them. The Air, Air Jordan 11 Lowe's. If people still got tax money, they'll go. <laughs> uh, them top three fives, trash. Them uh, Air Jordan 1 and White Gang Royal Blacks, it's a one. It'll sell out. Them fours, sit. Them fours right there with the red and white, sit. The Air Jordan 1 Women's Tie-Dye, probably sell out. The Alternate Grapes, sit. The Air Jordan 1 Dark Mocha Black, sell out. Um, these 13, the Ray Allens. Look what the sixes did. They sat, so they're going to sit as well. Them 12s, ooh, they nasty. But I think they're going to sit, man. In July, I think they're going to sit. I really think they're going to sit. That's not an official colorway yet for the shoe. It just got the colorway, but not the. it's not the actual color. That's how the shoe is actually going to look, I mean. The Jordan 1 is not as, as well. That's like a concept art of it. Same thing with these 12s that's releasing in August. Them 8s sit. Uh, the alternate Bel Airs, they might sell out though. Them alternate, cause everybody like Will Smith. You know, back in the day, Will Smith and him and Martin had the freshest Jordan one, the Jordans. So they 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 might sit, cause they might not sit. I'm sorry, they might sell out. Them 14s, they're blue one, sit. Them Oregon Ducks, it depends on how they, cause they might do like that Michigan five and that 12 did. I don't know. Whatever Jordan one it is, maybe maybe not. Um, you got the women's, uh, lucky green, white cell and, uh, Jordan ones in October sell out 11s the women's depends, but whatever 11 we supposed to get at the end of the month for the end of the year, most likely going to sell out rumor is it's cool. Great. Right. So we'll see. And then, uh, yeah, some other stuff, just a bunch of concept arts, nothing really solid. Yeah. All concept, nothing really solid. So yeah, pretty much. Um, that's so far what we have got going on as far as the Jordan brand. Uh, and then, um, let me go ahead and look at this right quick as far as this, uh, sneaker releases in, um, not, uh, not, uh, Jordan, more like Nikes and Adidas and stuff like that. Let's see what they got. Uh, get all the way down to, here we go. Here we go. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm passing it up. All right, so we got a bunch of LeBron James. You know LeBron shoes. I love LeBron, but your shit's sitting, Brody. Air Maxes, I think those are going to sit. Psh, Pharrell, 4Ds, $400. Yeah, those motherfuckers are sitting too. Um, Kyrie's, those are sitting. 
Yeah, the foam positive lavas. Those are probably going to sit. Now, in February, the Sakai and the uh, Nike waffles, uh, depending on if they get a release date for those, those are going to sell out. Uh, that Yeezy Alien Mist. Oh, I mean, that Yeezy uh, A300, I call it. The Alien was the first color. I'm sorry. The Mist colorway. Those are pretty dope. I think those will sell out. I think hopefully they do a wider release because I kind of want a pair, but we don't know yet. And I think that's so far what we got right now. Also, they do have those um, Yeezys that's dropping. Uh, Yeezy 350 at the end of the month. Yeesha. Yeah, Yeesha or some shit like that. Let's go ahead and see what they're looking like. Images, right? Trust me, when you see this shoe, it's literally the same shoe you've ever seen all year last year. It's nothing um, nothing special. The Yeesha is nothing special at all. Pretty much, it's the... I can just go here and stock X. There you go. The Joy... I mean, a Yeezy 350 Yeesha. Don't that look fucking familiar? Lund marks uh, look like the cloud without the little ish blue in it. Uh, lung marks. What the fuck was the other one? It was something else with a lung mark that I did a comparison video. It looked the same. Pretty much the same goddamn shoe that they did three times last year, three or four times last year. You get what I'm saying? Fuck that shoe. Let that shit sit. I'm sorry, Kanye. You gotta stop giving these motherfuckers these cream. White ass shoes. I, it's literally the same thing. All you're doing is changing the tone of the fucking, yeah, the whiteness of the shoe. It's either cream or it's not cream. And it was a static, the nine, the white static. That's what I think it was. The static white ones. Please stop, Kanye, with the same shit over and over again, bro. Like, your shit gonna be sitting, bro. People are getting tired of that shit. That last shoe that released in uh, December, that was dope. With the three different colors on there, that shit was dope. But why? That's the same shoe, bro. Like, we need to get rid of the V2 and just move along because uh, that's ass. So, this is your boy PYL, guys. I ain't gonna hold y'all up, man. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Uh, this is my video of uh, what's going on in 2020 so far confirmed and my uh, honest opinion on save your money because 2020 look like save your money season. Ain't nothing really popping like that. So, yeah, so catch y'all in the next video. I appreciate you guys, and don't forget to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'm going to keep dropping more videos in 2020, and we're going to build each other up, baby. I love y'all. Thank y'all. Catch y'all in the next one.